Today I will be showing how to paint Juzo suspenders. These are pre-made suspenders I simply purchased in the correct color. And then we adjusted the suspenders to my exact size so that they would not have to stretch after painting to avoid cracking in the paint. While the suspenders were on, we drew on the pattern using a dressmaker's pencil, but you could also use chalk. This is simply to give an outline of all the pattern designs that you will be painting in, and it rubs off right away afterward. Also, I will be doing the back, and this part right here needs to be yellow. So let's get started. First step is to make a base coat of just solid white and then add your color on top of that. This prevents it from looking streaky and it makes the color stand out and be more vibrant and also not have to use so many coats of paint. I have my essentially chemical that turns your acrylic paint into fabric paint, and this can be found at most craft stores. And then I have just regular white acrylic. I'm going to mix these together. It really does not take much of this. I'd say maybe one or two drops in a about a quarter size of this. It doesn't take too much by any means. Actually, I could use more than a quarter size and still two drops would probably be perfectly fine. On this area though, I'm not so sure how it's going to take it because if you'll see it's kind of a faux leather almost, so that's going to be a little more difficult to paint. So I might actually have to use a little bit more of this just to kind of get it to the right consistency and hopefully make it less chippy, but we will see in time with that. Not gonna lie, painting a circle on this texture is not very easy, so take it slow and edging can be done later. The start of the base coats are on. I did make a slight oops and did these incorrectly, so I will have to wait until I paint these yellow to then start to paint these, otherwise I'm going to have the base coat all within my lines and I won't know where my lines are, so that was a little error on my behalf. I should have done this instead and waited to do the yellow space coat, but we're learning as we go. Also, as I suspected, this is going to be a little more difficult to paint. It rubbed right off, so I will have to find a different method. Now on to the yellow paint, and I did add just a little bit of this stuff just to make sure that it will stay on the fabric. I know I have it inside of the white, but I just want to make absolute certain that this isn't going to crusty flake off of my suspenders while I wear them, because that would be bad. I am going a little past the seam line where this part is going to just hold snugly, but I wanted to make absolute certain that in case this pulls or tugs in any weird direction that you'll still be seeing yellow. I just wanted to show, since I did mess up, and I will be correcting this definitely for sure, but I did want to show why I put on the white base coat instead of just immediately throwing the yellow on, is because you want something that actually looks yellow and not a green, and that is going to be very hard to salvage. What I am going to do is I'm going to paint in the blue dot, because there should be a blue dot there, and I decided to do that instead. I don't know, that was my own error, but I decided to go over it all just to show what it would look like comparatively. And if you'll note, even with a second coat, this isn't going to give a very great look. It's still going to have some green behind it. That's not what we want. So I'm going to go over it with a white coat and then put the yellow on top of that again after I make sure that I get this little dot. And that way I'm just making sure that it all looks the same as this, but that is what happens if you don't put a base coat down. 
Now time for the blue. Took a lot of time to perfect the edging and do a base coat that would really stand out and look nice and that way also I wouldn't have any blue showing within because this is blue but I don't want any light blue showing through. So now we just add in the dark blue to this part and this part and then this part is silvery grayish. I'm just gonna probably do a matte gray. I now have the blue done. I found out that to make it where it wouldn't crack as horribly if it were moved was to add a little bit of water along with the fabric paint stuff and that helps to like soak it through so that it doesn't crack as badly if it's even lightly moved. It helps a whole lot but I mean you still gotta be delicate with it and try not to overstretch it because then you'll definitely get some crackage that you just don't want but it does help to kind of get it down into there. This one I'll definitely need to add a white base coat to but I'll first have to fill in the circle otherwise I'll lose it and I'll have no idea where it is because that's really close. Now I need to fill the circles in with gray. I also am having a whole lot of problem with the edging on this one so I've decided to get a blue that matches perfectly to the suspenders themselves and I'm just going to fill in the diamonds and correct them using the exact same blue as the suspenders. This part is definitely giving me a fit to paint. It just washes off immediately and rubs off and flakes off just so quickly. So instead of trying to paint it, I'm gonna put fabric on it. I'm just gonna cut it to the shape that it is and stitch it right where it already is. And that'll cover that part. And there you have it! That is how to paint Juzo suspenders. And the very last thing that I am going to do is invisa stitch these two parts together just to definitely try to avoid as much tugging as possible to avoid cracking. If you guys like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up so that we know to do more tutorials in the future. And also, if you are not already, please don't forget to subscribe for a lot more cosplay content. Thank you!